April 40, we, the undersigned residents of Hampton, petitioned the town of Hampton to place on the warrant the request to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the amount of $7,000 to support Seacoast Family Promise, servicing local families with children who are experiencing homelessness. Majority vote required. Not recommended by the Board of Selectmen, 302. Not recommended by the Budget Committee, 327. Fiscal impact note, the estimated tax impact is three-tenths of one cent per thousand dollars evaluation. I will uh, entertain a motion to open discussion on Article 40. Is there anybody? Uh, Mr. Loopley is uh, moving. Is there a second? Uh, seconded by Mr. DeRocher. Is there anyone here who wishes to speak to Article 40? Mr. Moody. I ran, uh, Moody, I ran across the Article 66 in 2008 where Seacoast Sea Interfaith Hospitality Network petitioned for $2,000. And it was defeated by Senate Bill 2 voting 1177, yes, 2005, no. That's, that's the same organization that's now Family Promise, is it? Seacoast Family Promise. I, I know there's churches in, like uh, Hampstead and so forth that are involved in this network. Thank you, Mr. Moody. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 40? Seeing none, Article... Yes, Ms. Latimer. As soon as you're done. No pressure. Okay. On this one, as you can see, we voted to not recommend from the Budget Committee, not recommend from the Board of Selectmen. I'm going to have a discussion with you as to why it went that way, at least for the Budget Committee. We are very short on shelter space, and we are even shorter on family shelter space, space that is adequate for children. We had no problem with that part of the request. I think we got stuck on this one. This is a new, a new charity coming in, looking for money. They're doing it properly. They have to put forward a Warren article to get into the group that you see on Warren Article 20. However, we got caught up in the fact that they were looking for $7,000 when they applied to other towns for $2,500. And that kind of soured us a little bit. That Sometimes we don't mind being generous, but we do mind um, having that large amount asked from us that's not being asked from other communities. Do I have the ability to do an amendment on this? To 2500 You have the ability to uh, propose it, and uh, we'll go out for a second. Okay. And in fairness to what we need, fairness to what the service provides, and taking into consideration what turned us off about that, I would um, like to amend the amount of $7,000 to 2500 Seconded. Uh, moved by Ms. Latimer. Seconded by Ms. Searle. Um, is there any discussion? Anyone wanted to be heard on the uh, Latimer Amendment? Mr. Jones. I have a problem with this, uh, this article. I have a problem with the amendment. And it's this. So we had, I think it was Article 20, that had all those long lists of totaling like 155 plus thousand dollars for social service programs, which I voted in favor of in the Budget Committee after much consideration because um, personally I don't give them any money and I wouldn't give them any money because they take taxpayer money as I said earlier I don't give to any charity that takes money from people involuntarily 
But those organizations on that particular Warren article have grown dependent on taxpayer money, and they do provide a valuable service. This organization is not yet dependent on our money. I do not wish them to become dependent upon our money. So I oppose giving them any money. I oppose the amendment. I oppose the article. Thank you, Mr. Jones. You wish to be heard on the amendment. Brian Lapham, 27 I Street. Um, I was one of the, the budget committee members that didn't recommend this. And part of the reason was is because I'm not the work that they do and I'm not demeaning it in any way, but it's in how they do it. This appeared to me to be a church organization. Um, another problem I had with it is nothing is stable. When these people are moved to these locations, and most of them are, are in churches, they are, they are only there for a certain period of time, and then they're going to, they want to stay or they need to more help, they go to another church, and then they go to another church. We don't have a say on, you know, whether these churches, and one problem I had was these churches haven't been checked out, um, you know, what kind of a place are they staying in? And like I say, I had a problem, as was brought up earlier, that this seemed to be a, a church service and not something the town should take on. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lapp. All right. I think we're ready for a vote on the amendment. Uh, Mr. Kravitz, I want to get a, a sense of where we are. We'll still have the article. So all those in favor of the Latimer Amendment, reducing the amount from $7,000 to $2,500, raise your voter card. Down card. All opposed. I declare the Latimer Amendment has passed. The article now reads $2,500. Mr. Kravitz. Yeah, the reason I, I'm Sonny Kravitz from the Budget Committee. When this person came before the Budget Committee, I asked her if any other communities in the area were contributing, and she said no. Then I asked Fred, I asked Fred Welch whether the list of charities that 155,000, whether he gets annual reports, and he said yes. I, my, it, apparently, it used to be under the welfare department, but apparently, I don't believe anybody's really re reading these annual reports to see how effective the donations are being used. That's really my concern. You know, it's taxpayer money, and we need roads to be paved, and a lot of other uses for the money. That's really on my only comment. Thank you, Ms. Kravitz. All right. <laughs> Seeing no further discussion on Article 40, Article 40 will appear on the ballot as amended.